Pro. Okay, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, what we're going to do now is do a tutorial on um, effects channels. Uh, basically, what I like to do within a project normally is have at least four go-to channels that are immediately set up. Uh, the one we're going to discuss today is long reverb. So I've got a little project here. It's these little plucks that we're going to uh, apply this long reverb to. Now, this long reverb I also use for creating effects for risers or drops. Um, and again, for washing sounds to make them sound in the background and, and big. So let's open up the mixer. And here I've got my long reverb channel. Now, on the reverb, I've got a just a real long haul algorithm. Really, really big. I've also got an EQ rolling off all the bottom end and sort of uh, boosting the top, making it nice and bright. And I've also got on here a compressor which I'm side chaining uh, from a, a side chain kick. So now those are the stabs. So let's just solo that. I'm going to mute the. So let's send these stabs to the long reverb, turn it on. You can hear there it's a real wash of sound. So to use that as an effect what I might do is automate the send amount. Great for going into breakdowns and so on. So let's just put quite a bit on. I'm going to unmute the sidechain kick and I'm also going to send that to the compressor. Put a bit of ratio on. Turn it on. There we go. So there you can hear the sucking effect. You don't have to use the sidechain compressor on there, you can use it without. Um, I just like to have it in the mix so if you are using quite a bit of reverb it's not constantly washing. Uh, throughout the whole track and making your track muddy, at least with a side chain, you can use it as an effect, but also it's ducking it a little bit so the the kick and everything will come through. And there you can hear as an effect what you can do. It's almost like a build up without there being actually any build up, you know, the reverb just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and makes it sound more and more intense and then you just drop it off, uh, going into the breakdown and you get the lovely long reverb tails. This is how I generally create effects, uh, maybe on vocals, I'll put loads and loads of this wash reverb and maybe just have a little hit of the vocal and it's the actual decay of the vocal that I'll use, so I'll cut. Um, cut the vocal off in fact let's do it on let's do it on this so what we'll do we'll just move that out to there I've highlighted it let's have a go at the uh, render in place uh, render in place so we've got a render setup uh, as one event and we're going to have it with, yeah, we'll go a complete one, tail size, bars and beats, and let's have, let's 
Let's go up. Let's click OK. Excellent. So, in theory now, that should be it. So if we solo this, So there you go, that real long um, reverb tail we can use as an effect now. So we can cut that off there, delete that bit. Oh, wrong, wrong bit. Let's delete that bit and audio process reverse. And now what we've got there is. Solo this, bring the mixer up. I'm going to turn the effect off the stabs. So. You should hear this rise up. There you go. So now if we put a, another long reverb on that, oh, wrong one, so you'll get a, a swell and the tail. So it's a great way of creating effects out of uh, existing things that are already, uh, or existing elements that are in your track. And certainly with vocals and stuff like that, basically what you're doing is you'll be creating uh, an effect from the vocal which you know sits in your track and is in key and it gives you loads of different elements uh, without actually having to use too much of the vocal. You can just create this essence of vocal which is really, really important um, or essence of other sounds that you're using, percussive elements. So there you go. That's uh, one of the um, effects channels that I like to have. I also have a, a short room reverb which I'll apply to loads of different elements. Uh, I'll, again, I'll do a tutorial on that. I have a long delay, again, which I use similar to the wash effect of the reverb, and I also have a short delay which I use similar to the room. So, very, very simple. It's nice to have these go to elements instantly there within your track. So, what I tend to do is save these uh, within my existing template that opens up. So, there you go, just a, another quick tutorial. Again, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye bye. A B S R. Prel. Prel.